Welcome back to Later. We are here with Marsha Clark. You know what I love? When I came out, you said, oh, you look so beautiful. You see, this is the virtue of the trial, having looked like complete dog (laughs) food for a year and a half. You know what I mean? No makeup, horrible lights, exhausted. I mean, bags under my eyes like suitcases. And now, compared to that, you know? No, come on. You look gorgeous. What is the public's biggest misconception about you? I mean, I don't so know. much has been written yeah. about you. What yeah. do you think? I think, I mean, if I had to guess, because I'm not really sure what the public's conception of me is, so I'm not sure what the biggest misconception could be. I think that I was grim. You know, I think that a perception was created because I was in court, and it's a murder trial, and it's serious, you know, and we don't go in and say, you know, I, I know you're out there, I can hear you breathing, you know, right. ladies and germs. And you have to, you know, you can't tell knock-knock jokes in the middle of a murder trial. So people got the impression that I was very grim, yeah. you know, and, and, and very serious and hard-minded. And, you know, I mean, you have to be a certain amount of tough to do the job, or else you get rolled over. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not that grim. I, I find I had a hard time staying that serious for that long in a courtroom. You yeah, because there were times when you just I did. To laugh. You I had did to and laugh. I did, and I did. Yeah. You just didn't see it. But I right. do think it's different with, you know, celebrities than with uh... They get they get they get a pass. I mean, you know, they get a pass much more than any average person would. You know? Mm-hmm, I mean mm-hmm. even some, you know, get away with murder. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean I didn't bring it up. I didn't mention it. I did it. say it right so it may as well be me well right uh, and what about donald trump i just think that he really loves to get his name out there and be famous and uh-huh. get all this attention and all this limelight and you know i think that's why he likes it on the other hand one thing you can say about donald trump is he is a man of accomplishment and would you ever run for office absolutely not never no why Ugh. why Shh. really yeah. <laughs> I hate so it. is that a no Wait, so let me let me think <laughs> so maybe right you know I mean? no i mean i've always felt that you know politics a politician is always, the fact that somebody wants to run for office already means I don't want to vote for him. You know what I mean? <laughs> you yeah, know? I mean, okay. Yeah, if you want, if you're seeking public office, there's something wrong with you. You know, just what they have to go through nowadays. You know, you go through their, their personal lives are trash. There is absolutely no privacy. If I think lack of privacy is a problem even now or even during the trial, that's nothing compared to what a candidate goes through. And all the mudslinging and all the... So people must have approached you about this and asked you about to run for office. Yeah. Yeah. It did did cross somebody's mind, not mine. (laughs) Marcia, thank you so much for being here. This was so fabulous. It was a pleasure. Thank Thank you for having me. Thank you. My thanks to Marsha Clark, and if you didn't get a chance to read her book, it is called Without a Doubt, and it's in paperback, and it's fabulous. I am Lisa Amsterdam, and I'll catch you later.